Okay, so today I'm going to try and show you how I've been doing my mosaic Damascus, and I mostly learned this from Marekko at uh, Mount Mousy Fire Arts, and then Joshua Prince really helped me. Um, so after I explain each step, I'm going to cut to another video of how that step looks. So I want to just give a disclaimer. There are probably much better ways to do this. There are tons of other ways. This is just one simple way that made sense to me in my brain and, and the easiest way for me to do it. Um, I would say fact check whatever I say because sometimes I have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. So let's just start there. Okay, so for this mosaic billet, what I'm gonna do is I need to start off with two separate billets. One of them is gonna be what I call just regular C's and then the other one is going to be double C's. So for this is going to be shown how to make just a regular single C. So what I do is I start off with usually 16 layers because that's about half of your 48 inch long steel that I get from New Jersey Steel Baron. And you're going to alternate the steel so it would be 15 and 20, 1084, 15 and 20, you know, etc. So just a regular squish, you're just going to squish that billet down flat, like so. Okay, so once you've done that step, what you're going to do is you're going to knock in all the corners on your press. So just go around and start squishing in all the corners. So that's basically re-squaring the bar. So once you've done that, you're gonna flip it 90 degrees, and this is something that I didn't understand for a long time. You're gonna flip it so the steel is now facing vertical like this. You see how that's how we started horizontal? Then we're gonna be pressing down on the vertical. Can we see this? Okay, like so. Press down. Okay, so after you've done that, this is what's gonna create that C pattern, is pressing this into now a rectangular bar. So after we have this step done, you're gonna cut this, or I cut this into four even pieces. Okay, so that completes our single C pattern. But what I did is I wanted to create a double C. So on your other billet, what you're gonna do is go back to this step and then just draw that out, restack it, you know, however many times, four or five times, and then you can continue onto this. So now what I have is two separate billets. One of them is a double C, and then the other one is just a regular, single C. So the double C is always going to be a little bit shorter so in the end I always cut it into three pieces and then the single C I cut into four pieces so total seven pieces. So the way that I stacked it was the two ends are going to be the double C, one in the middle and then the single C you know you have your four pieces right in the middle there. So, once you have that, you're just going to press this down. So once that you have this pressed down into a square bar, what you're going to do is flip it 90 degrees and then only press it from the top, but maintaining the side. So you're going, you're going to press it from the top, flip on the side, you know, crush it in, go from the top until you have another square bar. So once you have your square bar now, you're going to cut this into what I got was four equal pieces. So remember, you have to grind everything truly flat and grind all the lines. Now you can etch the ends and then figure out which way you want your pattern to go. Okay, so now that you got your four pieces, 
you are going to make what is called a four-way weld. I think that's what it's called. That's what I call it. Um, so you are going to figure out what pattern you want. You can either flip this around. This is just what I did. And you're going to weld this four ways like that. So this is what the billet's going to look like when that four-way is all drawn out. Okay, so after you have this four-way drawn out into another billet, you can keep cutting it and then welding it another four ways. It all depends on how intricate you want your pattern. For this particular billet, I stopped there and then I did my tile weld. But if you want, you can now cut this into four sections and then go back to this step and weld it again because remember when you make a knife from this billet that pattern that you have the more you press down on it that pattern is going to spread out so this is where people will usually keep four weighing it because they want that intricacy in the pattern but just remember that Okay, so what I did was I tile welded this billet together. So again, I cut it into four pieces and then I just cut it straight on my bandsaw. Some people will do an angled cut, which I have, fuck that shit. But either 30 degree angle, 35 degree angle, not for me, baby. So what I did, cut it, welded these side by side. So this is what the four-way billet looks like. So remember, you, you're gonna grind all this scale off. So this is the actual tile weld. So that is the end grain up right there. I did lose one of the pieces due to cracks, RIP. Also, once you're at this step, you wanna be, and always remember, you want this shit hot because if it's not hot enough, Shit's gonna, this is, this is when shit starts to spread open. And I've, I've been there. Okay, Let, let's get back to business here. So once you're at this step and you feel like it's welded together pretty good, maybe a few presses, what I do is I take it, put it in my vice clamp, and I'm going to grind off all the welds. So I, I use MIG, so it's gonna get in deeper than TIG. So you need to grind off all of these welds you know on the end grain and on the sides so do that and then you can go back to your press and then keep pressing it if you're just doing you know quarter inch billet keep going what i do what i'm doing with this billet is i'm making integral knives so i'm leaving this pretty thick so this is what it looks like after i've grinded it with my angle grinder so after you've pressed it to its desired thickness, grind it flat and then etch it and you can see the pattern. Okay, well, I think that concludes it. I hope I made sense. I usually don't make sense in my brain. So I hope that was an easy enough explanation. And this took me, you know what? I still can't really do it, but these are the steps that I'm trying to learn myself and let's pray to Jesus it works for you. Hi. <laughs> this is Olivia with <laughs> This is Olivia with Wildcraft Knives. Today <laughs> or do what you want. I don't care. Okay, fuck. I don't know what I'm saying already. God damn. It. Okay, so for this And then squish in, no, not rotate yet, fuck. So with the, oh, I feel nauseous. <laughs> okay, so after you, okay, so after you have this four-way welded up, uh, fuck! Because also remember, when you're making a knife from the, that billet, th the pattern is going to spread out. I'll tell you what, I was spread out last night. <laughs>